Hey guys, so today's video will be about how I do my cable management. And I've made similar videos before, but I think I improved my techniques again. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do it. Also, I now have a standing desk, which makes things a bit more difficult, but I'll go into details about that later. So without waiting any further, let's take a look. So we'll start with the top of my desk. So my first tip would be to use a monitor arm. It looks cleaner overall and they often feature cable management hooks or cable hiding spots and it makes it easier to route your cables. In my case, I'm using an ergotron arm and combined with velcro straps, it does the job quite well. I also have a LifeX LED strip at the back of my monitor. It's simply cut in half. And I use sticky cable tie mounts with actual cable ties to hold the strip's power cable. And then I attached it to the rest of the cables that connect to my monitor using velcro straps. Another great way to reduce the clutter is to use wireless peripherals and there's a lot of great wireless gaming mice on the market with no perceivable latency and we're starting to see great wireless keyboards too but if you want to use a wire I'd suggest you use sticky wire holders behind your tabletop to guide your cables. It's especially useful to hide your cables when they're not in use. As an example my laptop's charging cable can be hidden but still easily accessible. Another way to reduce the amount of visible cables is to have all your gear on your desk. In my case, my subwoofer and PC are on my desk, although they could also be on the floor. And it helps a lot as less cables are coming from the ground to the top of my desk. And it's also a lot easier to keep your floor clean that way. The only thing is that you must buy gear that's not too big to fit on your desk, or you have to buy a desk that's large enough to fit everything that you have. Another way to reduce the clutter is to install some of your gear on the underside of your tabletop like I did with my audio interface. It's holding up using velcro tape so it can be easily removed and reinstalled if I wanted to and that way it doesn't take space on my desk, it's out of the way and it's still pretty easy to reach when I'm sitting. So we pretty much covered the top of my desk, now we'll go under to see what's going on there. The key elements here are the IKEA Signum rack to hold the cables and the power supplies. The power strips mounted under using screws and velcro straps. So here you can use multiple power strips if needed. I don't recommend plugging one in another, although that's what I did. They're held using screws that match the hooks under the strips. I think it's much better than having them on the floor or in a cable box. You could also install them in your signal rack, but it gives you less space for actual cables. As for my general recommendation, I'd say plug every cable as untangled from each other as possible and after that you simply insert all your cables in the rack. You can get other similar racks too but this one is quite cheap and has a lot of room and that's why I recommend it. If some cables are too long you can also roll them up and attach them with a the velcro strap. Then I also like to attach the cables that go in the same direction together just so they're tighter and take less space. Also, it's easier to have them closer to the underside of your desk that way. For longer cables that won't hold directly in your signum rack, you can also use a cable tie mount to hold them up top. In my case, it was pretty useful for my audio interfaces cables, and I did the same for all my PC's cables. I used the cable tie mount and I added a screw to make sure it was solid enough, and I could then raise all my cables closer to my tabletop using a velcro strap that was cut in half across the length, and that's much better. Now, as I said earlier, I now have a sit-stand desk, and the cables that go down to the floor must be managed too. So I velcro strap them alongside the legs where they're fixed to my tabletop. I've got an HDMI cable that's going to my TV attached to the wall with enough slack for my desk height presets. And on the other side, I have my power strips cable, which is velcro strapped to the base, again with enough slack for the movement, then I can route it to the nearest AC plug. That way, whenever I'm sitting or standing, I don't have to worry about these cables being unplugged or pulled by accident because they're stuck somewhere or something like that. Now as for my HDMI cable, it's routed alongside my wall's molding to finally connect to my TV. 
It's a 35 feet cable, so I needed multiple cable tie mounts to get a clean result. I also installed a screw in most of them, just to be sure they wouldn't come off over time. And alongside my power cable, I also have a USB extension with a mini USB cable at the end, and I can simply hide it behind my couch when I don't need it, but it's actually pretty useful when I want to game on my TV. I simply bring my wireless mouse and I plug that cable in my keyboard, and voila. Last thing I like to do is to have a USB hub in my Signum rack where I plug all my USB devices. That way there's only one cable that connects to my PC for all my USB peripherals. So that pretty much wraps it up. I'll have most if not all the accessories I talked about listed in the video description, so check it out if you're interested. And as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you like the video if you did, and if not, let me know what I should change. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe if you still haven't already, as I'll see you in the next video.